Got our boys separated over here, 10 total. We're gonna load them in the truck. We got the 10 males loaded up. Nice and calm. And head on over to where we're gonna process them at. Okay, so we're driving over. Shauna's helping us. We got my ride or die over there. It's my sister Ann. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so the ducks were processed yesterday. Um, so we're down to seven ducks. Look, Gordy's out there limping. I gotta catch him. Her, it's a her. I've got stuff on him. But I looked out here this morning because my turkeys to say good morning to you guys. Good morning, Turks. I looked out here this morning. I believe this is Shauna's favorite duck. And she's dead. Now what the heck happened to her? She was being tormented by all the drakes. She's the main reason why. Abby, you okay? She's the main reason why we did the, the Drake call. But she is dead. Let's get her up. 
So now we have six ducks, which are, I believe, still upset with me because they're awfully quiet. Either that or they're just really peaceful right now because they don't have all these males chasing them around. Ended up having 11 males and uh, six females. I did keep one male. Sorry about the sun there. I did keep one male to go with my girls. So there they are, one, two, three, four, five, six. See Gordy limping? Gordy's definitely a female also. When we were separating him out, which I would not have butchered him because I did promise his owner um, a safe forever home for him. So I would have kept him either way. But when we were separating him out, he was quacking like a female. My turkey's Dexter trying to... Are you going to strut for the camera? Let's zoom out here. Are you going to strut, mister? He's saying hello to all of you. You're getting pretty good at that, little guy. Anyways, I had to go get ready for work. I'll record some more tonight and we'll post it. I just didn't want the whole vlog to be the calling of the Drake, so I wanted to combine two days, which I normally don't do. It's just one day at a time, but I wanted to do two days because I didn't want a whole vlog on culling. So, we'll get back at it later on. Just wanted to show you everything was okay except for, well, my daughter's favorite duck, which had no bite marks or anything on her, so she might have been egg bound or something else. I, I don't know, all those male drakes just really did a number on her all the time, so I don't know. Hello everybody, I'm back from work. It's like 115 today, we broke some records here in Arizona. So I'm gonna go out and water everything, make sure everything's got some fresh water. I just wanted to show you here, hold on. There's that chicken with the missing wing that got pulled off while he's running away. He's doing fine. He's missing a whole dang wing. That is crazy to me. It just shows how resilient chickens really are. And there's my six ducks that I have left. Oh, I gotta catch Gordy. I gotta go get the kids to come catch him so I can look at his foot. Look how bad he's limping. She. Gordy's a she. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to call she a he. having problems walking. Hold on, Gordy. I'll have the kids go get you. It's so crazy to me that I went from 17 ducks down to seven, but then I lost one last night to six. It's crazy. Where's all my ducks? No. It was a necessary evil. What? Did you just record me chasing after him? No, I didn't record you chasing after him. The heck? Oh, he lost his nail. Right there. See it? Yeah. Alright, he'll be fine. He's just gonna limp for a while. Shauna says there's babies over here. Aw, oh, there is babies over here. The camera won't focus. I used to autofocus. 
There it goes. The babies. How many are there? Two? Cute. Got the fence down, just have to get my rake and clean it out. Can you believe this little nugget over here? He is missing his complete right wing. And he's still doing fine. He's a little traumatized right now because I took his fence down. Alive and well. All I did was clean it out with some saline. Let's see if we can get around and look at it. I think he's going to survive. Have to call him lucky or one wing. <laughs> Chicken on the trampoline. Everything's out for their nighttime bugging. <coughs> Getting quite the flock of chickens now that all my little ones have integrated in. Those are basically all my little ones because my ducks over there because my big ones are over here and then out here those are my horse panels I got to set up my my pens I'm gonna set them up out here in this corner in between the shade structure and the wall down here but in order to do that this fence was all the way across into the chicken yard. So I cut it, as you can see. I think I get those T-posts up. I got my T-post puller, but who those things are in there. And then I'm going to put the fence this way so it gives me all this extra space. I have one tree right there that <clears throat> is alive, so I'll have to transplant those. These are just volunteer mesquites, but they have big thorns on, so I'm gonna get my sawzall and just take them down. I had to actually burn the old grass on the tree line because it was so mixed in there that I couldn't get it out. So I'm gonna take my shovel right here. I'm gonna dig on these T posts to see if I can possibly get them a little bit looser. What are you after over there, Dexter? You see how thick that grass is? It's crazy. I burnt this grass. And if you get down underneath there, it's still grass. It's absolutely crazy. So, but once the horses are back in here, it'll all get tramped down anyway. So let me get to digging on these T-posts. All right, I've been working on it for 30 minutes. I dug all the way around it. I still can't get that thing up. I have to get five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, like 12. Oh, sucks. Dying. Super hot out here. <clears throat> I give up for the night. <sighs> Whew. Sweating like crazy. Alright, I hope everybody has a great day. And I will check back in with you tomorrow.